What's up guys, Champ here bringing you another Infinite Warfare gameplay. Today what I got for you is a nasty gameplay on the map precinct. I'm going to go ahead and get a flawless deatomizer pretty fast in this game. Playing hardcore team deathmatch. So I'm going to get that game ending deatomizer. Finish it up flawless. And I'm going to make only one little mistake at the end. But it's not even going to matter by that point. So I flashed the class setup at the beginning of this game because I'm going to show you this whole entire gameplay from start to finish, but I will go over the class setup also. In this game I'm running my Stealth NV4 class setup, which is the Quick Draw, the Stock, and then I put the Suppressor on it because we're going Stealth here. Then I got on Blind Eye and Ghost in my Perk 1 slot. I got nothing in my perk 2 slot, and then I got dead silence on because I'm going with the stealth class here. And I got no hard line in this one, so it doesn't really matter I realize with hard line because really all it takes is two extra kills to get those sh streaks pretty much. And once you get that eight first original kills with hard line, you don't get any more streaks off of it. It doesn't help you anymore. So I find that using dead silence might be a little more beneficial when I'm trying to go on these higher streaks. But I still switch back and forth. It's hard line or it's dead silence. Either or I switch back and forth. But if I had the silencer on, I try to stick with dead silence if I could just to kind of pair them together. So this is my stealth class, like I said. I'm going to go on this flawless deatomizer playing this map precinct. I also got a 60 kill team deathmatch on this map. I'll be posting that gameplay soon. So to get these deatomizers, you guys know the deal. You got to get 25 straight gun kills. And in this game, I actually end up going on an even higher gun streak. And I make one little mistake, like I said at the end, that really kind of cost me. Because when I finish up and I get this deatomizer, we are winning 70 to 50, I believe. So I still got 30 more kills left in this game. I was ready to go on a huge run. And you'll see what happens. I just I just do a bonehead move. I get all excited when, you know, you get that deatomizer, you get a little excited. And you just want to throw it in, I guess. I've been playing really well on Precinct and Hardcore Team Deathmatch lately. I've basically been getting like 40, 50, and you know, even 60 kills on occasions here on this map lately. So I really know the workings of this map. I know how to maneuver my way around this map. And the best thing that I could say is using the UAV and the advanced UAV setup when trying to go on a deatomizer strike is definitely going to help you. Because they spawn crazy in this game. They spawn really crazy in Infinite Warfare. You never really can predict it. Pretty much they're going to spawn wherever your teammates aren't. Just like most games. But it's just a little different I feel like in Infinite Warfare. I just picked up the Ruthless right there. So you really got to have that awareness. And having UAV and the advanced UAV is really going to help you on that. So you don't get spawned behind. And if you could, play with a partner. I mean, this game I'm playing completely solo. I actually played this at like 11, 12 at night. I was just going to play like one or two games. Then I ended up popping this Deatomizer Strike. But if you could play with like one other really good player and have him run the UAV and the advanced UAV with you, that's going to help you out a real lot in trying to get a deatomizer strike. I would say both of you run the same exact setup that I have right here, but you're not both going to be able to get the warden in. So if you have two people and your whole goal is to get the deatomizer strike, I would say you run UAV, counter UAV, and advanced, or one of you guys run the warden and the guy that really wants the deatomizer streak try to run the UAV counter. Hey. And then the hater or advanced UAV, that's what it's called. So I'm only like two kills away from this deatomizer. And I thought I was going to come around this corner right there and everybody was going to be there waiting for me. So that's why I threw my kinetic up, my kinetic armor, but it just didn't work out like that. So I used it for no reason, but I just got that kill on the head glitch, which was kind of risky. And then got that kill right there for my 25th one. And here's this bonehead move I'm talking about. Because I'm just running through these guys right here. And I could have swore I pushed down and I meant to throw my warden up right there. But I pushed the deatomizer strike in, which kind of killed me. Because I definitely could have gone on like a 30, 35, 40 kill streak here. Look at them. They're trying to shoot things down. I'm just running through the map. I got the advanced UAV up. And I end up finishing this game with a 29 gun streak. I go 34 and 1, which is a flawless deatomizer strike because that deatomizer does kill you when it hits the ground. But I hope you guys liked what you saw here. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. It was just a nice, quick deatomizer strike on the map precinct. 
If you guys like watching Deatomizer Strike gameplay, subscribe to my channel at Champ Gaming. Also, I got a series on how to get a high KD, and I go through just about each and every map in this game. Lots of zombies and Spaceland stuff. So this has been Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me.